All right, welcome back. And we're going to do an update on the 75 gallon uh, rimless saltwater aquarium. Um, beginning the fishless cycle. And just like with my freshwater, we're back with some Ace Hardware ammonia. Uh, this is the ammonia that has no other chemicals in it. Um, it's just pure ammonia. And extremely cheap at Ace Hardware. It's the Ace Hardware brand. And then I'm also using, since I had this left over, the Seachem Stability. Um, I did not use this when I did my freshwater. Um, so, but I had it have it laying around and don't want it to go to waste so technically I should be able to just dose this um, and put fish in um, but I am going to do a full fishless cycle and um, so I'm in no rush patience is the name of the game here um, I've already filled up the dropper and if you can see let's see here get a little background here. It's filled up slightly below one milliliter. And we're just going to put that into the water. And right now there's about 50 gallons of water in the tank. And Coming up next, we have the I have 40 pounds of um, substrate coming um, live substrate, and from there I have uh, 50 pounds of Fiji rock on its way, and then of course the salt. Right now, there's no salt in this water yet, and uh, so. I am doing a very extended fishless cycle and we'll take it from there. Not saying my way is the best way or the only way, it's just the way that I'm going to cycle this tank. Um, I had success with my freshwater cycling it this way and we'll continue that process and I'll mimic it with the saltwater tank. Thanks for watching and If you haven't already done so, please rate, comment, or subscribe. Stay tuned for more updates. Okay, quick basic test. I'm uh, using the API right now until my new test kits arrive. Starting from left to right, we have the ammonia, which is sitting at... Um, right around two parts per million uh, and the second one is pH high range API test uh, which we're in between what is it it's not a bright purple so we're looking at 8.2 and then right now no nitrates which I'm doing a fishless cycle so that is what we are waiting for the spike on the nitrites with an eye and I went ahead and did the calcium test and it took uh, 24 drops so times that by 2 and you get 480 so that's where I'm at in the fishless cycle. This is just the beginning. More updates to come. All right, welcome back. And 
just want to do a quick shot of the Fiji uh, rock and just have it soak in here. Um, the Carolina bucket is the rubble pieces that I have. And then over here, I have the main pieces with the larger pieces at the bottom. Um, and then combined, this comes to slightly over 85 pounds of Fiji dry rock. So, very pleased with the order that came from Bulk Reef Supply. Has some challenges with the um, delivery, um, but we were able to sort that out. I believe it was Adam over at Bulk Reef Supply worked with me and uh, we ended up getting the delivery sent back out a couple weeks later and the uh, delivery service that they use, I believe it's UPS, there's just some challenges with the driver delivering the boxes. So three boxes came, uh, two boxes of rocks and one box for the salt, which is the Coral Pro, Red Sea Coral Pro. So, all right. Next shot would be of uh, the rocks laid out prior to me placing them in a tank to cycle with the seed rock that's already in the tank. Alright, today is Sunday, October 26, and I'm back with another test. On the left, API test is fresh water. On the right, also two API tests um, for the saltwater tank. Today is day 12 of the saltwater build. Again, Sunday, October 26. The two API tests in the middle are the exact same, and we'll just take a look and go in closer. All right. So first, with the freshwater, this is nitrates with an A, right? And I have um, between zero and 5.0 parts per million and then all the way over to the far right this is nitrites with an I and it's still showing zero parts per million which is to be expected and now in the middle uh, I went ahead and tested ammonia and we have Ammonia on the freshwater tank is between zero parts per million and maybe there's a hint of ammonia in the water, um, which is to be expected. I'm coming up on two weeks almost since my last water change on the freshwater tank. Again, the freshwater are the two test tubes to the left. And then, of course, in the saltwater tank, I am just confirming that there's plenty of ammonia still in the water. So we're hovering between two and one parts per million. And eventually I will update and buy more um, accurate test kits than the API for the saltwater tank. And more than likely use some of the test kits for the fresh water. I don't really want to be running two different types of test systems so or test kits for the tanks. Um, all in all things are moving along. I have another video coming up of the actual Fiji rocks. 
that arrived. Um, I did not do an unboxing, but I will show a video of the different sizes and the amount of weight. Um, I ordered 85 pounds. This is a 75 gallon tank, the salt water tank. And gross water volume of the salt water tank is 105. So I ordered 85 pounds of Fiji dry rock from Bulk Reap Supply. And that will just give me more of a selection of rocks to choose from as far as size. And um, that way I don't have to depend on putting all the rocks that I receive in the tank. So, alright, stay tuned and we'll switch over to that. Alright, quick shot at the tank. Again, I'm going to do my cycle a little bit differently. There's no right or, well, I guess there is a wrong way to do a cycle, but this is the way that I am actually going to do it. So that one piece of rock in a tank is from a, uh, it's already been cycled. It's full of all the good bacteria. And I have two hang on the back filters just temporarily for flow. Um, I, and in, in the back left hand corner is a fluval 200 watt heater and the tank is currently sitting at 79 degrees or so as far as temperature um, and then there's a Coralia sitting in the back next to it for circulation um, again as you can see no water is down in my sump yet, and temperature wise, let's see here, if I can get this in focus, we are in the green area, um, I would like to be slightly above, but we're slowly getting there, and what I'm going to do from here, oh, and then I bought both a refractometer and a hydrometer, and this one actually just stays in the tank, so I just use it as a reference point. Um, obviously, a refractometer is more accurate, and so basically, that's where things are at right now. I'm going to not add sand initially. Um, I'm going to first put all of the uh, Fiji dry rock in here with the seed rock and let it run. Um, I'm doing a fishless cycle and I am looking at cycling the tank, taking my time. I still have a whole bunch of more equipment to purchase. And I am waiting until Black Friday and Cyber Monday to purchase the majority of the equipment that I'm going to need, which is a skimmer, wave maker, and uh, two uh, pumps for water circulation, and you know couple other items on the list but those are the main things in addition to lights and I pretty much decided which brands I'm going with but I won't announce that until I actually do my unboxing for them so let's take a quick look at the freshwater tank it's doing well uh, water change is coming up on this. The nitrates are starting to creep up. I could probably go maybe another week. Um, but we'll see. And then I'm ordering some more plants. Um, and I need to beef up the cleanup crew for this tank. But all in all, this tank is doing really well. And 
going to be time to look at some new fish soon um, to add to the livestock of this tank. And just real quick, temperature of this tank, they're running about the same. So this one is 79.3 to 79.8. pH is at 7.09. And my Apex, <clears throat> my Apex Neptune controller uh, will actually run both tanks, which will be nice. Uh, so looking forward to getting that set up and doing videos on that. Um, and that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already done so, please rate the video, and feedback is always welcome. Um, and if you like what I'm doing, or if you don't like what I'm doing, and have some constructive criticism please leave it in the comments down below and I will continue doing the videos um, as time permits and got the new growth from the Madagascar lace and my red tiger lotus is coming back so I'll be moving that to the front of the tank which is really nice and then let's see uh, Madagascar and Lace I have let's see we have one two four It's going to be nice. It's coming back strong. So, what else? Um, that's about it. Just give you some more close ups of the freshwater tank before we go. Some allergy on the glass over to the left there that I need to get to. Next time I clean. And oh, what I'm thinking about it. as far as pumps in this tank, we have three corrallers over here. I took the other one out. I still have that smaller one in the back next to the heater back there. is it so this tank is running the Fluval 300 watt heater and a Fluval 100 watt heater uh, my saltwater tank will probably run an additional heater I usually put two heaters in my tank so uh, I already have a 200 watt I'm either going to go with another 100 watt or the 50 watt. I'm not sure yet. Alright. Go Falcons. They're over in London today playing the Detroit Lions. So all the NFL fans out there in the states and across the pond thanks for watching